प्लीज गेट रेडी फॉर ए डिक्टेशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज नंबर नाइन एंड टेन फ्रॉम द प्रोग्रेसिव मैगजीन ऑफ फेबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर अनफॉर्चुनेटली फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस वॉट इज डिसाइडेड बाय द हाइएस्ट जुडिशियल अथॉरिटी in our country is that the directive principles are not as important as fundamental rights it is most unfortunate i do not mean any criticism against any individual judge sitting i mean criticism from the point of view of the principle adopted to decide the cases the directive principles are not only the duties cast upon the state they are a sort of rights available to the citizens as a whole in the country to the society as a whole we consider the right available to an individual and we do not consider the right available to so many individuals in the country we are committing a mistake somewhere they have decided that because directive principles are not justiciable fundamental rights are more important and when a law is made to implement the directive principles it goes against the fundamental rights it has to be struck down that is most unfortunate there is a decided case in which a harijan student was admitted in a medical college a law was made for that purpose the case went to the high court in madras and it decided that equality before law is not available under that act because all students should be treated equal and so the admission was cancelled that was most unfortunate it is a different thing that the judgment was reversed and so many other steps were taken and we have now in our country students from scheduled castes and tribes getting admission to medical colleges on priority it is all there but that is a different thing only few days back in this house itself i do not mean disrespect to the honorable members who pleaded the cause in the most beautiful most effective manner what have we decided there was a law brought before this house which said that in order to protect the skull and brain of an individual he should wear helmet then because of the prevailing religious and other social circumstances certain citizens were given exemption from this he said if you do this somebody will go to the court and get an injunction against this because there is discrimination between women in this country what was the result the result was that the honorable minister had to say that the ladies 
would be exempted. With respect to what my friend is asking us to do, I am one with him. I would be the happiest person if this is included in the chapter on fundamental rights. I would be the happiest person, but there are certain difficulties and those difficulties are to be taken into account. My dear friend standing here said that unless you change some other provisions in the constitution, it is not going to be possible for you to implement this fundamental right. Supposing we are not including this in fundamental rights, but supposing we are trying to implement it. In Maharashtra, the Employment Guarantee Resolution was passed and then the law was passed. Now we are trying to see that this is included in the Fundamental Rights chapter. But there was difficulty in America when President Roosevelt under the New Deal made a law to see that those who were in service were not retrenched in the recession period that was the, that law was challenged in the Supreme Court and that law was first struck down. When he came out openly and when he said, I pack the benches, that pack the benches phrase changed the entire situation and a different judgment was given and law was again declared as not ultra wires of the constitution. That is the position here. Now, if you make a change of this kind, if you pass a law that is not going to help us, it may somehow or the other create so many difficulties. We have article 32 in our constitution. What does article 32 and also article 26 provide? Article 32 provides the right to an individual to go to the Supreme Court in order to enforce the fundamental rights made available to the citizens. In the fundamental rights chapter, Article 32 is also there. I do not mean that the people should misinterpret me <coughs> when I say that Article 32 creates difficulty and that Article 32 should not be there. I do not mean that Article 32 would be necessary. Difficulty arises as Article 32 is there and if fundamental right is made available to the citizen, that citizen can directly go to the Supreme Court. Article 32 says that writ can be issued against the government. There is the right available to the citizen in the fundamental rights. Article 32 is there and Article 226 which is not treated as a part of the fundamental rights chapter 
also gives the same kind of right to citizen in the high court as given by the fundamental rights stopped